Before I start this uh, program today about tack life, I wanted to show you something here on Amazon right now. This uh, particular tack life saw is $269, but if you use the $100 coupon, you get this thing for $169. A 12 inch uh, dual, you know, double sliding miter saw for that $169, that is insanely good. But one of the things I want to show you is right over here, uh, It's this one particularly is by TK Stores and there's a lot of different we'll click on just see if we can see who they are but uh yeah they're somewhere out of shenzhen china okay that's just typical typical tack life stuff but that's fine you know it is what it is the uh there's been a lot of questions about this so i'm gonna have to do a we're gonna just do a quick little show about tack life and uh what happened right now oh man that was quite a gator uh, howdy folks, pull up a chair and grab yourself a coffee. Uh, first off, I want to just thank everybody for uh, just the uh, support. We uh, lost a dog a while back, uh, last week on Monday, and it was a pretty, pretty tough time. It still is, it's still hurting. But uh, the subscribers and the likes and shares and everything has been looking absolutely wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you know, so much. And uh, what I wanted to do today, uh, we're not gonna happen. So what we are gonna do today <laughs> is uh, take on something. I've had a lot of email, a lot of com comments, and I've noticed, especially lately, something about Tack Life Tools and Amazon. And I guess a lot of people didn't get the memo, but yeah, they got kicked off Amazon way back in the spring. Uh, wasn't just Tack Life Tools, and so it was over a dozen companies they got caught with, I guess we'll say their hands sort of messing with the cookie jar. And it wasn't a big deal, but it did break the terms, you know, of agreement with Amazon, which, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like minor, but for a company like Tack Life, this is major, because let's face it, they were selling tools, they were slamming it. And the tools almost disappeared. Uh, towards May uh, and June, there was almost no sign of Tack Life anything on Amazon. And it's come back uh, twice now, from what I can see. And right now, it's running pretty strong on Amazon. You can just about buy, you know, a pretty good selection at a great price on Tack Life tools again. But I think what everybody's failing to, uh, well, I noticed just from the emails, people are failing to realize. You're not buying directly from Tack Life anymore at this point. You're buying through third-party sellers, which is not the end of the world. Uh, the third-party seller, I'm sure he's still going to, you know, ship you the saw or whatever it is you purchase uh, that's Tack Life. The only difference is it's the warranty. That's the only place I think that I really see uh, sort of a gray area because a lot of the Tack Life tools came with like two-year warranty. The third party, from what I've seen, is kind of like, unless it's damaged in shipping, we don't want to hear about it. So, yeah, it's a, you get a little bit of a cold shoulder feeling there. And that's, to me, that's, uh, it's okay, you know. <laughs> I generally, when I burn something up, I it's usually me. <laughs> it's not the manufacturer. <laughs> and it's usually abuse and uh, like, okay, you know, I've destroyed this thing. And generally, I try to figure out a way to recycle it or repurpose the parts out of it. You know, just whatever I can do to, you know, scavenge at that point. Because a lot of times, uh, when you burn up a saw, like, what are you going to do with it? You know, like, yeah. And I don't. I, I'm just not one to throw something in a trash can. But uh, sometimes you have to throw at least some of it in the trash and go. Yeah, some of it's got to go because it's not going to do any good to me. So back to the. The, the meat of the matter here is Tack Life. They're they're still in business. They still exist. They're owned by a very big company behind them. Oakley uh, Technologies owns that company, and Tack Life is. I mean, you know, they were growing, and it's real. It's really a shame to see what happened to them. I was I was sort of like set back. Says, wow, what are they going to do now? You know, do they close their doors? Or do they get a little quiet for a while and we'll see where it all goes. And right now, like I said, they have a website where they sell and offer all their outdoor, their tools, all their, you know, stuff. And they still have a good price, good selection. So 
you know, I can see them still hanging in there for the time being. Uh, they sort of look like a shadow uh, at this point compared to when they were on Amazon and just slamming it. Uh, I thought they were doing great. I was really looking forward to seeing even more stuff from them on Amazon. And I've got some, you know, tools that I don't want to spend a lot of money on and I don't need to be spending a lot of money on them because again I'm right now as it stands I'm kind of in that do-it-yourselfer consumer you know product grade area I'm not a contractor anymore I'm not out uh, ripping uh, I shouldn't say too much because yeah I did rip out a kitchen last week and a couple of weeks before that I ripped out a wall unit so I've been doing some you know industrious work and in fact I was going to show you the wood but that's another time the uh, thing with Tack Life is that if you deal directly with them, you get the two-year warranty. If you buy through Amazon right now, you're looking at third-party gray area with the warranty. But other than that, uh, either way, I, I'm pretty sure the tool will show up at the door, and you'll have a Tack Life tool, and you'll have a great price with a small with a tool that has some pretty good features. So I'm not too concerned about that right now. And in fact, I'm sort of more concerned about whatever is going on with Ryobi right now. They've uh, upped their prices and have this contractor grade uh, battery operated tools right now. And I'm seeing a lot of, quite literally, a lot of smoke coming out of a lot of those tools very quickly, right after the brand new. That doesn't look good on Ryobi. So uh, we'll have to see where all of this is going because it looks like these tool companies are getting greedy and they're making cheap, junky tools. Not a good program. I, I hope this doesn't continue. I'd like to see uh, something come out of that. Uh, you know, uh, the tack life situation, you know, when I buy a tack life tool, it's not because I'm going to be out Monday to Friday in the back of a pickup truck cutting lumber or whatever I'm doing. I'll buy it because every few weekends or something I might pick it up and oh I need to make this cut and you know and I do it. So that to me that tool should be fine. You know I'm not going to worry about the warranty because in no time at all the tool may have been used 12 times, sat around for two and a half years, whatever. And if it burns up suddenly, it's like well okay let's go get something else. Besides, it gives me an excuse to go to the store and look at tools. You know, mm, you know. I think it would be interesting if somebody wanted to step in the limelight come up with another name and uh, there's just so many brand names of tools out there right now I think the market is getting a little over uh, overblown it's 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 turning into a stupid market and and I don't know how good their tools are at Walmart but I don't I don't see myself ever going over to Walmart to buy a tool or a especially a power tool <laughs> and yet I've seen some pretty good reviews where people have been saying hey this stuff's not bad you know? <laughs> and what I'm thinking is that it, at least it competes with the uh, Black & Decker <laughs> it competes with the Ryobis that are smoking that are supposed to be contractor grade <laughs> And here's Harbor Freight coming out with, you know, low grade, mid grade and high grade, you know, uh, power tools. So it's interesting, the whole market, we, we've got so many tool brands and names to choose from now. And, you know, if you think, uh, if you think in terms of, if you want a good impact gun, you might want to buy a Hilti. That's an old industrial name that goes way back. Or a Milwaukee, you know. And then if you think about a drill, you might say, oh, psh, I'll just buy a DeWalt, you know don't care. If you think about a saw, you might want to buy, oh, Craftsman's got a good deal on that. I'll just buy the Craftsman. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, man, lots of love out there today to everybody, and God bless. The uh, We'll have to keep an eye on old Tack Life and just see if they can figure out how they're going to, you know, come back from this mess this year. It should be interesting. <laughs> And uh, I hope they do okay. I, I, I don't have anything, you know, I don't have any bad feelings over what happened. The, uh, hopefully in the next show too, I want to start giving some more stuff away. I've got some crazy, wild, wild things that, you know, you just can't buy. So I want to get some of that stuff out. And um, we'll get back to uh, some, uh, I'll, I want to show you a couple wood projects that I'm dealing with. 
and some of them are kind of complicated and some of them are just like it's kind of like the how to get free lumber you know I think what's going to be interesting is to see where tack life is going or how they're going to survive uh, after this uh, rather a bit of an implosion over the market situation on them so we'll see let's hang in and if I see or hear anything I will let you guys know you know it in the meantime please like share subscribe and thank you so much thank you thank you thank you for watching copy and tools this week we'll see you folks later adios